Okay. Um, now that you are done edge pairing, you just solve it like like a regular three by three. So then this would be a regular corner, but instead of a regular edge like this, this acts like a regular edge like this, and use your favorite method, Rokes, Friedrich, Petrus, whatever. But then even number of cubes like this little guy and this guy do weird stuff that this or this big guy would not do. It's called parity. P-A-R-I-T-Y. Not parity. P-A-R-O-D-Y. Anyway, the OLL parity, if you're a speed cuber, you should know what OLL is, is uh, the front the front part is uh, twisted like that. So instead of doing a regular so instead of doing a regular OLL like that, instead it's twisted like this. And the algorithm for that is um, lowercase r2, b2, u2, l, lowercase l, u2, ri, u2, lowercase r, u2, f2, uh, uppercase, lowercase r, f2, lowercase li, B2, lowercase r2, and I'll perform it for you. So lowercase r, r2, b2, u2, l, u2, ri, u2, r, u2, f2, r, f2, li, b2, u2. I mean lowercase r2 and that's the OLL parity and then PLL uh, let me set it up for you this is the PLL parity is anything that that's weird in when you're doing PLL so this edge is unsolved and this edge is unsolved or these two corners are unsolved and these two corners diagonally are unsolved if it's weird and it's a parity, but then I'll, I'll explain this later. So then the notation algorithm for the PLL parity is lowercase r2, u2, lowercase r2, u2, lowercase u2, r2, uh, lowercase u2. And I'll perform it to you. Lowercase r2, u2, lowercase r2, u2, lowercase u2, uh, lowercase r2, lowercase u2. And after that, you're done. You just fix Rubik's Revenge. And that's it. It's not, it's, it's really simple. And I'll put the algorithms on the side for you to write.